everything you could point about somebody else, just look at you and just point it, like, what can I focus on on myself? And I promise you, whenever you fix one thing about yourself, it, it, it's, it's, it's a trickle down effect. It's a, it's just a domino like the bad, effect. the yep. positive too. It, it's exactly it's the crazy same way it works. Even, even in like church, right? You go to church, you get this fire word. They talk, about, talk about relationships. And they talk about how people need to be accountable. They talk about all this. First thing you got happening in your mind is, I wish my wife was here to hear this. Right. First I wish of all, she, this is why. You all know right. you did that to me before. You really blew we me. We was having great No, we No, I had to tell you because it really made me bad. It just made me think about it. It's so old. One day you went, you listened to church and you're going to say, yeah, it was a good word. Yeah, I felt like you should have listened to that. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I probably did that. I'm sorry. You did. I I'm, was probably, like, I'm probably guilty. And I remember sure. I was like, wow, you ain't taking nothing for you, huh? You just came home and so so I was like, oh, what was it about? Yeah, I was in, I was in, I was in the sin for sure. I ain't gonna but but that's not that's not good. And and but that's that's, that's and I feel like <laughs> we give a love. That help yeah, facts. Because I think I, I heard somebody talk to me about that. And the moment you feel that way is the moment you should when you feel that, that's when you know you're wrong. Mm-hmm. And that's how I uh that's how I look at it now. Like as mm-hmm. soon as I feel that feeling, I'm like yeah, my mama need mom. to hear this. Mm-hmm. I gotta. Yeah, yeah. Nah, bro. What you find you your need, lesson? Find, find your, your lesson. Yeah. That's how you stay together. Find your lesson. Boom. I like that. That's hard. Find your lesson. Let's get into this episode, Gemini Scorpio Podcast episode eighty-two. Listen right now. If you don't have the audio, then you're going to miss the whole audio experience, but that's cool because you can join the audio right now. Make sure you go to the wherever you listen to your podcast at, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, Google Podcasts. Uh, There's it's a couple other platforms out there. Make sure you subscribe to the audio, right? It's, it's going to be, if you if, if you paint a picture on your iPhone, go mm-hmm. to that purple that purple little app, right? It's Apple Podcasts like app, yep. With the little... You gonna go type in Gemini that. Scorpio podcast, right? Y'all follow me up to your right. Is going to be a plus sign. Hit that plus sign. That plus sign will turn into a check. Now, right? Still on the Gemini Scorpio podcast. What you're going to do is go down. You gonna scroll all the way down. Is going to say rate this podcast. Give us a five star rating. Write a review. Oh my God, this podcast is, is lit. I love it. They're so relatable. They talk about relationship things. They help me do my date with my relationship, my girlfriend, my boyfriend, my fiance, Ooh, my wife, my on. husband. Do that for us, all right? Thank you. Gemini Scorpio Podcast, episode 82. Yes, sir, Ski. I am Mr. J Hill. I am Sade. How does it feel to be bike? You. This is a month strong for you, babe. You know, I can't believe it. I'm just happy to be here. You know, we ah. came in the fourth quarter. We did what we had to do. <laughs> And you know, we did what we needed to do. And you know, I just want to thank you to my team. Thank you, thank you to my man. Oh. Thank you to my man. <laughs> yo, yo. So, yo. Oh, you know, it's funny because we was we was coming back. Funny we talking about this because like yeah. seventy nine we came back right or seventy eight. I don't know whatever. Seventy eight. Seventy nine. Seventy nine. We came back. Thanks. Shout out to as a matter of fact, the team thank is in the. Like- the build the team is in the building. Shout out to my guy A-Rod. My guy Aaron is here. Dylan is here. We got Kyron is here. And still special guest uh Los is here. I wasn't gonna say it, but I mean, if you're if you're a, a loyal listener or subscriber, then hey, you yeah. know. But if you don't, you don't. Yeah. If you know, you know. But yeah, so you we know, got the know. gang in the building. Um when we were starting to do this, we were talking about doing this, this starting the podcast, being consistent and everything. Right. We was like, um, we want to do it differently this time. Yes. We want to be super intentional. Yes. Right? We want to talk to our people. And we want to have fun. Like, you know, mm-hmm. we might get toxic yes. a little bit. But at the same time, we want to keep the main thing the main thing. Mm-hmm. And that's uh, letting people know that they can get through their relationships, fighting to get through their relationships, and staying together, yep. growing together. Yep. You know, because I feel like um, in this society, it's funny. <laughs> Again, I, sound like, I keep talking about this. Social do, media. Do you feel old? Yeah, but you know, <laughs> in this society, everything they want everything to be microwave, right? We mm-hmm. talk about social media. We want your fame now. We want success now. We want everything now. Same with love. Yeah. Right. I feel like um, in this day and age, everybody wanted to be perfect, and then especially I said it before, especially in, in today's age where it's like you gotta love yourself. So because you love yourself, I man, you can't love nobody else if they right. do anything that you don't think Literally is anything. You feel me? So it's like 
Nah, man. We want to promote something different. <laughs> we want to promote... You can um, love yourself and love others. Yeah, getting with somebody, staying with them, being mm -hmm. committed to them, fighting for them, fighting getting with married. them, fighting through it, getting married. You feel me? So yeah. um, it's just crazy that Breaking we... Breaking the stigma. Yeah. yeah. Around black relationships. I feel like it's definitely... I agree with you. I think everything is telling people to leave, 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 leave. If they don't do this, you need to get rid of them. If they don't do this... Like, they make it seem like... You can literally have somebody that's perfect. That's Instagram, bro. And if you don't find somebody that's literally perfect, then you don't need them. I think we talked about it like we, we was going to talk about this before. I feel like Instagram makes it makes it seem like everybody is available or like um you got so many so options. Accessible. Like it's like you yeah. got bro, you you don't have all these options you think you got. Right. That's just right. Hit it straight. Right. It's like you think oh. And that's yeah. on both ends, women and guys. Facts. Yeah. Like, you'd be like, oh, yeah, I can and, and, and um and even if you got a couple, like they this the the substance. The bar is in yeah, hell. The substance you're gonna get if it's so easy, it's gonna be the bar is down there with the hell. Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Like it's it's over. It's like, in the sewer. The, the rat, what is his name? He 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 he, he right. they, they the, the rat that uh that's the the, the, the sensei. I they, fucking Mr. Screaming. Splinter. He is down there. The bar with, to these the men and women, he's down there showing the Ninja Turtles how to do their moves. That's yeah. where the bar is at. It's in a sewer. They what? playing limbo with the bar. Yeah, they... they <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what they doing, how low can you go? Hey, right. can you go down low? Like, that's, that's, that's how low it's getting. <laughs> that's how low the bar is for these people. They're so getting lower and lower. You think you got these, these options. Okay, cool. That shimmy was crazy. Can you do it again? <laughs> hey, I put my, my feet on the table now. Now you should be. Hey, what type of time you on, bro? You, you ain't cat. I ain't cat. You a, uh, you know what I meant. A cabba? Yeah. Yo, but whatever. I, um, <laughs> Nah, man. But yeah, I feel like, yo, social media got this thing where, like, again, I'm talking to you hoes out there. Ooh, All these you hoes. Chicks is half naked, and I, I promote it. Like I be telling you, to get naked on the ground. I don't give. Nah, I be telling you to get naked. Yeah, show a little ass and titties, whatever. I feel like, um, but nah, nah. Other side, I feel like girls being so even guys. You know what I'm saying? They got uh, um, vanish mode. Everything is is is. What's vanish mode? I'll walk off this motherfucking set. I'm dead. <laughs> what is it? I'm dead ass. Like, I've done it, like, accident, but I really don't know what but it is. But you know what it is, then. No, That's how you told me. No, but I don't know, what it, no, but I don't know like what it is. you full of shit. I'm trying to tell you, I really don't know what it do, <laughs> nah, though. No, you know what it do, because you did it. So no, I did it by mistake. No, but you, you So nobody never did a vintage mode on mistake, though. But still, right. you know what it is, so then. No, but I seen the name, but I don't know what it means. Like, what does vintage mode mean? Tell me what it means. Fellas, these girls out here ain't Bro. Google it, bro. I'm letting you know. Yo, girls lie better than I men it. out not, here, bro. Now, one man in here told me what vanish mode so is. So you don't know what vanish mode is? I really don't know what it do. Like, I literally done I it by mistake. I DM in vanish mode. I do that shit a lot. I, but I don't know what it means because I don't do it a lot. It's <laughs> like you get what you I'm saying. You just did it sometimes. Vanish no, mode is you send a message on Instagram. Vanish mode on Instagram. You know what it is. You ain't really Open you a really princess and chat or start a new one. Bro, Place she your finger really anywhere going all the way with the Swipe up. You'll see the word swipe up to turn in vanish mode. She going all the way with the lie. I was just to send self destruction, me destructing messages or messages that automatically disappear. She is going all the way with the lie. <laughs> After a user leaves the chat, it turns up. Yo, this is insane, bro. They gotta stop. Doing no, shit you like are this. insane. <laughs> like what? The hell? <laughs> Yo, she just do that. I really didn't know what it was. You is full of the most. A lot. You must think everybody do it. You. <laughs> you full of you worse than a lot of me. <laughs> you, or you. you had a, you just had a blowout. <laughs> like, get that shit with that. <laughs> get that shit out of here. Like, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so well, everything that's going on, I feel like it makes it easier one to, to, to finesse. You feel me? It's just like yeah. what's really player? What's really player? Was what's really player is and I and it's gonna be not cool because I'm with you. But like nah, I feel like what's really playing is really holding it down with the yeah. person that's holding it down for you. Facts. You know what I'm saying? But I don't care what nobody say. Everybody I know people, it's way more attractive that way. It's On way both, more attractive. Like when you hold it down. What you mean? Like holding it okay, down. Okay, Drake, you said it's way more attractive when, when you, you hold it down. Yeah. <laughs> 
take. Come on, man. Come on. That's, that's, a, that's not where I was going. Right, but, but, but wait, wait. Talk to me. No, I feel like it's attractive. Like when you out here, you got a partner, y'all doing right by each other. Mm-hmm. I think it's attractive on both sides, like man and woman. It is. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like you meet a guy, like he's really all like I know people when they be like, yeah, I got a girl. They're like, damn, I f- with that nigga though. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I lost a couple opportunities. Opportunities like what? I don't know. Just be... I like working opportunities. Yeah, man. Yeah. These hoes ain't. Like, Cool. Yeah. These hoes ain't loyal yeah. out here, man. Yeah, so I mean some. Some. Some you'll definitely lose. I ain't gonna lie But me. not a lot. I think for, more people will respect you. Can I be honest with you? Since Go we're ahead, talking. man. What you finna say? I've been honest all day. Oh, God. No, no cap. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. So look, I got a new trick. What's the trick? If I ever feel like it's getting like out of hand or like, you know, a little bit too much, you know, where it shouldn't be, I throw the, ah, my fiance. I throw that motherfucker right there. <laughs> Like a like, like a, a ace spade, of spades, like, a spade, like the a big deuce joker, a, like, a deuce. like a deuce of spade. But why be getting there? I mean, what you mean? You said when they get a little too far. I no. That's what you said. If I feel like the energy, like you be talking I, to people, I get what people you mean. like on, you know bro, when I'm people, a cool guy. like you know when people like get the flirting and they yeah. start saying eyes get a little twinkly. Yeah, and they only had, it, it, nowadays mm-hmm. they ain't dumb. You know yeah. when mm-hmm. even McGill only had to be nothing mm-hmm. said. It could be like a little look. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I was talking to my fiance. <laughs> they, hate that. they be like, Aww. bro, I can't make right. this up. I wish I can call seven right now. <laughs> I ain't gonna say who. We talking, and we just talking about work and stuff. And Shorty is really like starting to like, not even do too much, but it's just starting to like, where you was at? Get a little vibey. And I'm like, yo, I said, like, my fiance, <laughs> they messed the whole situation. The whole vibe was I, up. I know she was tight. Yeah. I can't mm-hmm. even play them type games. Yeah, my fiance. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, yo, you should you should meet my fiance. <laughs> nah, nah. Yeah, that's nah, nah. what you, you wilder. Right yeah, nah, 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 nah. But yeah, I will. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't need no. I don't do. Yeah, that. Nah, facts, facts, facts. But anyway, I don't do that. It's, it definitely is more attractive. But I'm pretty sure you, bro. You was working a few months ago. Yeah, but like mine you is was different. Free food. Because I just I don't have to say that. I just be like. Before you had this ring, though, hold up. Cause you was working and you had a the chef was your a cr- oh my god live live you want oh my god you know that we know what they say what most relationships start in the workplace no Mm-mm. oh my god you you gonna come here and lie I'm not even approachable that way I'm not bro you one of the nicest women I've met yeah I'm nice but I'm not friendly it's different I'm not a friendly ass girl but I'm nice. See, you know, you know what be killing me? I don't understand until they on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. Like, bro, I met you and, and it was up from day one. Don't play with me. I was single and I was ready to mingle. Yeah, you was at my house what the you? first day. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you gonna keep running with it? No, I wasn't. Bro, I met you yeah, and we was outside. Lying. We went to the concert, not, I was hosting, we was It was lit. not the first day. Stop lying. It was two weeks. Because you would no, the first day we was in the we was in we the We went Lord. to club we had a fun and I went home. Yeah, you made me buy your friends drinks, you finesse. I did. I did. That's some I did. bro that, I, yo. Whatever, what? man. Let's get back to it. I feel like nowadays, I feel like people think they got, I swear they got all these options. Right. The whole time, they really just like, I don't know, like master manipulators or master like finessers for real. Because like on Instagram, you can make it look like something's not. Exactly. It's a lot of smuggle mirrors on there. Nah, for sure. So with all that being said, we definitely want to have a conversation where, bro, like all that can be that. Right. But what's more, was was the most important is the person that you got with you. Right. Right. It's funny because you um you sent me a video. Can we? I want to play it. Can we? Uh, oh, and hey, you gonna say you're full of? What I say? What you say? He's like good for that guy. Yeah, messy. Good for messy. Y'all seen this video? I don't know if y'all seen the this. Soccer player. Yeah. Y'all seen this? All right. So basically, is this guy? He been with his girl since only his girl since he was seven years old. <laughs> oh. Well, what? they known each other since seven year old. Yo, but he's only been with his wife. Is this his wife or his girl? It's his wife now. But oh, okay. yeah. Let me see if I can find it. I would hope it was. I said salute to dude. What's wrong with that? Because you laughed. Put your earphones in, man. Can you play this one? Well, hey, Kyra. First of all, let me tell you how I bought this Rodecaster. And what is this? Not even a feet. What about a foot? What is it? Like 12? Like, I was about to say 12 inches. Wow. <laughs> 
Hey yo, say. I wasn't even. I was saying a foot and twelve inches. That's what. But whatever. I guess. <laughs> I hey, pause. Whatever. So, bro, this is like what? Two feet away. Bro, I bought a Rodecaster Pro Two, and I can't even play the Bluetooth from two feet away. Like y'all need to do better. But let's play the um the clip, bro. Yeah. He has never a touched a woman free. other than his wife, and the backstory is crazy. Messi met his wife Antonella when they were seven years old. They later became friends, and Messi asked her to be his girlfriend. But that's just the start of this insane this tale. Me. Messi yeah. wanted to become the best player in the world just so he could take care of Antonella. Messi and Antonella got married, the but then female fan fans tried to tempt wife. Messi. Miss Bum Bum Brazil, Ms. Susie Bum Cortez, Bum sent Messi <laughs> photos of her in his jersey. She wanted Messi so bad she even got a tattoo of him on her body. But That's Messi dedication. blocked her immediately because he was so committed he to Antonella. This is when everyone realized the real reason Messi is awkward around other women. When women ask Messi for photos, he keeps his hands behind him or in his pockets. <laughs> Even when Peek's walking. wife, Shakira, asked Messi for a photo, he kept his distance. But the main reason Messi acts this way is he doesn't want the media to twist photos of him and make up rumors. In the end, oh, Messi just wants to live a private life with his wife and this children. Messi has is. never touched a woman other than his... That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, talk about Dedication. boundaries. Yeah, commitment. protecting your family. Yeah, no, nah, I think definitely that's commitment as at another level. And yeah, it should be saluted because you know, protect your house. No nah, facts. You know, don't he said, don't even take a picture with me. Stand two feet away. But again, talk about social media. People will see that and girls run with it. Like I need a man like that. Yeah, what's wrong with that? You a part of the problem. I, I'm asking, what's wrong with that? You don't like that? You don't it's, think you don't think women deserve that? No. Why? <laughs> That's crazy. Tell me why so. I feel like any woman should want a man that protects their household and don't need to be, you know, obviously if he's a famous soccer player, you know, soccer players mad mad money. All of them be cheating. They get too much money. They just said he don't cheat. He's never been no, with no, anybody. I'm saying most of them be cheating. So is all of them a, one, most of them, or none of them. I don't know. That no. cheated too. Messi got a little messy, but whatever. I'm like, man, go ahead. So you did too then? What? It was all of them. I'm not a soccer player. You, so you're just speaking for soccer players, not like men as a whole. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Black men but, don't cheat though. But go ahead, baby. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah. I'm, I'm why, are you def why are you going so hard for it? I'm joking. To be on the other side. You don't want him to protect his wife? No, nah, so all right. He said he went on to be the best soccer player in the world so he could take care of his wife. That's amazing. So what happens if if she did him dirty then? That's the only thing I only problem what I have with that is why are you doing it for her? I don't know, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> Let's get back to the point. Why are you what, stand why together, man? Nah, because I'm just saying nah, like that. We got we got sidetracked. All I say is because I say that because I think you should do things for yourself. Like, because Agreed. what happened is if, if I say this all the time, the moment you lay your motivation in someone else, the moment they do something to disappoint you, then your motivation go away. And I'm never leave my motivation with my mother, my child, anybody. No, my motivation get, is inside of me. I get that. But I feel like that's a lot of hypotheticals there. Because what if he did do things for himself? And yeah, then forget that. Just something. Let's get back. <laughs> oh, yeah, nah, we just got something. All right. Cool. So. He been with this chick for seven since he met her at seven. He met her at seven. Right. So I was saying that I don't think it's fair for like that's great for him. Yeah. But I don't think a woman should see that and say, I want somebody like that. I don't like no. I feel like you can protect your house. You can be faithful to your woman and you what still can that, take a what, picture. What if that what if that's their idea of what looks like protecting for them? Let's let's compromise. But what if that's okay with the guy? I feel like I, I don't know. Hey, if it's okay with the guy, then what are we talking yeah. about? Yeah. Because you over here like, let's well, compromise. No. You're, you're basically, that you're not the guy to ask for, but you No, I just don't think that a woman should see this video and be like. Oh, I don't want, I want a man who doesn't, who's never yeah, been with or, anybody Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. So now like, don't be like, oh, I want a girl who not only been with just me, who only been with just me. Now don't say that. Hey. No, I'm just saying. That conversation is like 10 years ago. Oh, I don't know. Like no, like talk. Who talk? Who says that? So men don't be like, I don't want girls with low body counts. Men. That they ain't really been touched. That's not a conversation. I, I guess I don't. I yeah, I guess Andrew Tate and them. Yeah, I guess yeah. Well, he's like, very popular. He is. He is. He is. Yeah. Hey, let's get back. On topic. Go ahead. I'm just saying. For real, we someone stand together. Right. Right. I think again, we played this clip for a reason. What was the reason we played the damn clip? 
I'm because this guy that. has been with one woman his whole life. Right. And more examples should be like that. It should be more men with examples like that. Even if it's not to that extreme. That's player. Okay. That's really Fair. gangster. Right? Yeah. I feel like nowadays um, in this young population, we need to see more examples like messy. Mm, right? Okay. Even if it's not to that going. extreme. But just basically more couples that's been together for a long time. Yeah. And, and sticking it out. I think um, in that situation, it's probably easy for her not to... That might be a, that's what I say might be a strain because it's probably easy for her not, for them not to have problems, right? Because what do you think? I mean, he ain't really doing nothing. What do you mean? <laughs> like he not like? I think like in terms of though like growth, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying. That's a long time to be with somebody. Seven years old. Yeah. You know how many stages I've been through since I was seven years old. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So I don't know. I think they got together in like their teenage years, like mm -hmm. fully. But like even from your teenage years to like obviously they're probably over like 30s and stuff like that. If I was in my teenage, I'm a way different person than I was in my teenage years. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna say I was supposed to be like sexy red, honestly. If I was still who I was as a Babe, teenager. Babe, what type time is you keep trying to embarrass me I'm on this podcast? I'm saying like, you know what I'm you saying? You keep telling people you was a hoe, basically, and I, I just not got a hoe. I'm saying like I was just sexy red. I was just ratchet. Like when I was getting a pussy scratched. Not that's not what I'm trying to say. I mean, that's the first thing I thought about. Oh well, let me give you somebody else. You said I should like been Glorilla. Like <laughs> what do you mean? Okay, cool. Was this, that, that's a bad example. I don't know. I, don't I know. figured she wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I figured that was she better. Trying to get sexy, but <laughs> I don't think that worked. Well, cool, cool, you know, cool. I'm just saying, Glorilla. Like I was just, you know, I was ratchet. I was in these streets. I was outside. My mom had to move me. I had to, you know, turn a new leaf. So, long story short, I was a, I'm a way different girl than I was when I was like 15. So, you know, to say they got together around then, like if you would have got with me at 15, we, I'm, t I'm like. 30 different women far from that person. That's what I'm saying. No, facts. So would you even would want to be with me? You probably wouldn't even have liked that version of me, honestly. I like, honestly, wouldn't. you wouldn't. No, but that's why... You wouldn't that's, even that's, met. I just, that's why this conversation is important, though. Yeah. Because I do think it's... I think in general, it's hard to love somebody through the journey, throughout the journey. Because okay. you do become totally two different people. Yeah. Or not two, multiple different people. And it's hard to... It's hard to detach somebody... From what you knew them as for who they are. Yeah, because you think that you always look at a, a even just a small piece of them as who they were when you met them. Exactly. And, that's, e and even if they're completely not that person no more, you still associate them with how or what you know from when you met them. And it's hard to love somebody through that. Not only hard to love somebody through that, but it's hard to love when you feel like that's being the perception of you as well. Mm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's crazy because I know you, like, previous podcasts you, said, you mentioned, like, getting... Married early mm -hmm. to somebody like early on in the relationship, mm -hmm. um, and growing through, I guess all you guys would technically still have gone through, mm -hmm. but just growing through it earlier and while being married and fully committed to each other. Why do you feel like that? Like because yo, it's so hard. I'm not gonna lie, but it's for me again. I'm, I'm gonna be very intentional with my words. I feel like for me, if I known what I know now. If we would have got married, it could have cut, it could have potentially cut a lot of the BS out. Why do you think so? Because we married. So, you, uh, so, like, in terms of vows. Yeah. Just not doing certain things. Mm -hmm. Do and you then, think at that age though that willpower is strong enough to withstand those vows? Probably because, not. Because you know what I'm trying to say. Because I feel like you know when you're a little younger. So we've been together since. 2018. Come on. 26. Yeah. Right. Twenty six. Right. What? We grown as fuck now. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So even at twenty six, I was you know, we still was, you know Young. Yeah. Young doing whatever we, you know, decided you to do. You keep on telling everybody how you was just doing what like you come on, man. What are you talking about? I'm talking about in the relationship. I said we got together when we were seventy six. So right. where does that all have right. to do I'm with me saying, doing anything? Just, come on, man. All you right. okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm right here, babe. All right. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. You okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Boom. So, but what I'm saying is we weren't probably going to be able to, it would have been a lot harder to be disciplined for those vows at that time, especially with all the distractions that was around. Work work lifestyle was different. Partying, all, like being outside partying all the time. This is what I mean by doing what we wanted. We partying on all the time. You was working in the club and 
different spaces that involved a lot more temptation at that time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I was out there too. So so was I. Wait, what? <laughs> Yo, bro. I was with you. Oh. oh what are you right. talking about? Yeah, we was doing things together too. <laughs> All right, my bad, my bad, my bad. Is my everything bad. okay? Yeah, I'm just saying. Like, are you yeah. just talking you about hot? my bad? <laughs> my bad, go you ahead. Hot? It's a little hot. <laughs> it's a little toasty. It's steamy. Ooh. All right, all right, go ahead, my bad. So, yeah, so I'm saying, but the distractions were very high at that time. Mm -hmm. Think about if we were married. We would have just been out here breaking all type of vows. All right, so I guess I say that because I feel like as a man, like, just being real, yeah, it's kind of hard to have this conversation. With okay. you. Why? Because again, I feel like when we get married, that's when all that stuff really matters. Why? Because you feel like a marriage to also It's real. That's the only real thing. Marriage is the only real thing. That's the only real thing. Why do you feel like that's the only real because, thing? Because I mean, it is. You're not you're not supposed to have kids out of wedlock. That's not no, married. For sure. So I agree. marriage is the only thing that God that God um Honors. He honors marriage. Right. Not girlfriend and boyfriend. Right. right? Right. So, with that being said, as a man, I'm going to talk to you like I would talk to my homies. Right? No, I'm, be, I'm trying to be as candid as possible, as vulnerable as possible. Think about it. I just waited six years to marry this girl. You being faithful to one girl, you're not, te you're not technically serious with her just to get married to then not do nothing anyway. We could have just been friends. I could have been living my little, my, my little life, having, having, having fun. Mm -hmm. Because now it's real. All that was just practice. And damn, we've been, this is not a Drake Stan account, but <laughs> uh, for real though, all that was just practice, you, all right? Practice. Now, from when we get married to on forward, that's when it's real. Okay. That's no? fair. No, I think it's fair. I, I think, so this is my perspective because I just think that, you know, there's a lot of stages that we go through from, Woman, from girl to womanhood, man to manhood, right? And I feel like although certain things are practiced, uh, previous partners, previous um, living arrangements, everything we did to in our young adult lives is always practiced for our adult life. But I also feel like how do you know when you're making the, the right or the wrong decision? Because I feel like you have to go through some level of experience with somebody to understand like this is what I don't and I do want right, right. And that's that's the whole reason why like not just dating but like you date or you get into these relationships because obviously you're not married yet so that's why they're boyfriend girlfriend because we're not married yet but we're exclusive to a point where we're trying to to be serious with one another which is where boyfriend girlfriend comes in right mm -hmm. so we're not married but we're trying to be serious with another to see if what, what what about this that I do or I don't like or you know, that I can move forward with or not move forward with, right? So I feel like if sometimes it does take a while to get to know somebody and I do think like people are forever changing as well or things happen in life that promotes change. You're right. You know what I'm trying to say? Whether, again, I keep talking like these drastic transitions, but I'm somebody who's had several drastic transitions over my life that literally turned me into different people many mm -hmm. of times, right? And... uh there's there's certain spaces that I think even friendships some people some some of my friendships fell off or they progressed depending on the state and it's the same thing with relationships because like for example some transitions happen and it forces you to be a different person and I may put up some boundaries I don't know you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying to protect myself and these boundaries may not cooperate with how this person actually knows me and what they were getting from me before right so now I don't know that doesn't work for them. You know what I'm saying, or it does, or but it doesn't work for them, and now we're we're, we're no so longer wait, what's compatible. The question was, how do you know what? No, you asked it was, the question. no, I was giving my perspective because you were telling me your perspective on basically marriage early on, and I'm telling you why I feel like early on doesn't always work simply because you don't always know somebody, and people are always changing as well in certain seasons of their life. So I think it's more. I think the relationship should have time before marriage and it still can be just as real when you get married get married excuse me after you get what i'm trying to say i don't know man because i feel like we i don't i say that because we talk about playing house right okay and again i'm it's about to get bad i know you guys gonna judge me what you mean why, why it's gonna get bad because i'm about to say some head ass shit but it's real okay the moment you lay down and share your body with somebody mm -hmm. right 
if you're going to be serious to do that, you should be serious enough to take the next step. I know it might sound Agreed. bad, but overall, that's real. how it should be. And then it's about to go from bad to worse. <laughs> the moment you move in with somebody, yeah, come on, like so, I like so. I'm not saying it's judgmental. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying looking back on it. That's yeah. all I'm saying. I'm not. I'm not being judgmental at all. I'm just saying, like, looking back on it, it's like, all right, if we're going to be doing all these things, we talk about playing house. We talk about having a role of a wife, having a role of a, a husband. A lot of mm-hmm. times, we were doing what man, husband and wife would would do, right. outside of sex, outside of sex, right. living with each other, spending bills, taking care of kids, finances. A lot of these things right. what married married people do. Right. In that, we get to know each other. We are human, so we make mistakes along the way. Mm-hmm. So each mistake we make, it's like you chipping off a, um, like you chipping off a piece of wood, right? That's, perspe- that's perception. I but of what come you on. look like. But that's re- like think, every time I make a mistake, you even said it like like you meet somebody, you look at this person like, and this is unfortunate, but this is real. You meet somebody, and this person is like, they I don't want to say God, that's a terrible word, but they're like they can't do nothing wrong. They make you feel great. You look at him like he's a protector, he's a provider. He's this, then he make a mistake, and it's like that's a piece of that's that's a piece of uh, something knocked off of him. Now you don't look at him as 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 powerful as you looked at him before. It's like he's a superhero, but then when he it's like power is stripped away from each mistake he makes. So now you don't trust him because what I don't know. You caught him a lie. Now you don't trust him. He can't lead you because he told you something and his decision ain't pan out how he wished it would have panned out. Come on, we had these. I this, understand we what went through these things. Yeah, no, I understand what you're saying, but I also feel like, again, that's why I feel like earlier on, it's perception because at those times that, like, for example, in the beginning of our relationship, say we're talking and we're talking about these mistakes and it being chipped off, then that means I didn't unconditionally love you yet. Mm. Because just like my child, if my child is, it does, it never chips it's off fact. anything from them. I love you anyway. I might not like what you did. I might disagree with you. I may be even angry with you, but I never love you any less and I never look at you less than off that pedestal, right? Mm-hmm. So for example, at those times I might have been doing that and I've been been chipping off of those things, but I mean, fast forward to where we are now, I believe that there's been ultimate forgiveness for that and uncond- cuz unconditional love starts to play in. You know what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say? I feel like we the only the downfall why certain things are the way they are and not to say that they're right the way they are, whether it be shacking up or laying down with somebody because we're not doing the work to know them better or whatever you have it because we're just not loving ourselves enough. Like we'll even say that, you know what I'm saying? Doing that work. But I, we're still learning. We, we don't meet each other and unconditionally love each other. We're, 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 we're meeting with learn some, each other, yeah. learning each other, but we're also meeting with some expectation. What are you going to do for me to make me feel good to make me even like you? Mm. That's how we're really meeting. We're not meeting like, oh, I just want to go out here and love. It's like, it's also, I only love you if you. I feel like you love me enough. Or mm. I only love you if I feel like you're making me feel good. Whether it be sexually, mentally, something. It's like materialistically, something. You're doing something that makes me feel good. Mm. So therefore, I love you. But I feel like... But is that love? No, though? it's not. It's not. But that's why I'm saying. I don't really think... We're not creatures of pureness like that yet you know what i'm saying that's what you have to strive to work towards to be so a lot of us are walking around empty anyway like mm. or we were we were you know what i'm saying because obviously we're at different places but we've been there you know what i'm saying where we work we 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 looking for feel goods. Like, you know what I'm saying? So we meet each other. We looking for feel goods. We like each other. So we're now we're sexing. We're shacking up. Like, you know or, what I'm saying? But we don't really know each other yet. We don't really, we don't bef- really, we're still working at it. You said this before, even outside of looking for feel goods, sometimes a lot of times we're falling in love with looks familiar. And a lot of times mm-hmm. that's trauma bonding. That's true. A lot of times like somebody, I don't know, somebody needs help or somebody went through something you went through and it's like, yeah, man, it damn. Looks, like, like, even I used to say, I want to yeah. be Superman. I want to show up and, yeah, it, it, you know what I'm saying, and it's like that's not love. Yeah, but we all been there though, that and that's what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, we've been there at a place where, where we are now, we weren't before. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But we had to go through things and we had to learn things about ourselves and each other to even see if it was worth doing that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But even years from now, we're going to continue to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, it's we're not like this isn't a landing strip. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? So like. Three years from now, five years from now, life is still going to be life in it. And there's going to be still more things that is that is either going to increase our love for each other or it's going to make us choose to love one another because we might just not be feeling the love every day that day. You know what I'm saying? For whatever reasons, maybe 
some things happen between us or something happened to you or me. And it just causes us to not focus on that aspect of our relationship. One of my, uh, my bad, before mm-hmm. you go there, one of my friends told me the real shit. She's been with her. Uh, it's crazy. They're not married. She's been with her boyfriend for 10 years. And they know that they want to be life partners, but they're not sure if they want to marry one another. Mm. That's their prerogative. I'm not going to say my thoughts on that. That's just their prerogative. But she was like, you know, sometimes she did. She's, you know, there's times through the seasons, through the 10 years, she didn't always find him attractive or she didn't love, like not love him. She loved him, but she wasn't in love with him, whatever. But they're life partners. And that's, they knew that no matter what, they wanted to do life with each other regardless. Mm. And, you know, this, in this season of their life, they're they're more intimate, more in love, whatever. But her point was that seasons change so often. You know what I'm saying? So relationships are hard work. They're mm-hmm. hard work, and you got to keep working at it over and over and over because feelings do feelings are fleeting. You know what I'm saying? Like and and fleeting in they may return, but sometimes they can flee as well. You know what I mean? And prayerfully, we you know we don't hit some of those spaces or in things like that. But it's not abnormal, and it's not impossible to be there as well. Not no, right, babe. And 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 thank you for getting the conversation started because this is where we want to, this is the point of our conversation. I think that is right. And we were just having a conversation off camera about like love being a choice over a feeling. And what you saying, like love is fleeting. I feel like a lot of times we're chasing feelings that, are fleeting. F- feelings are, are fleeting. Not but necessarily I feel like, love. I feel like a lot of times we're chasing these feelings. We mm-hmm. chasing, it's, it's almost like, it's almost like real drugs, like real yeah. dope. Right. Even like how Instagram and social media is like dopamine. It's feeling like dopamine. Like you get this feeling. It's like you're chasing that. that you get that one high and every high after it, you're chasing that first high. And that's how people overdose because you're never going to get that first high. So what happens is like you want to feel like that first time we met before. Mm-hmm. Right? That, that that um what do they call it in the beginning of the stage of relationships? Uh, the, uh, what's the name? Honeymoon stage. stage. Honeymoon. You want to feel yeah. a honeymoon stage. When it's like, bro, that's just not how it works. But because we're chasing this, and when it don't happen, it's like, oh, they don't love me the same. Yeah. You don't do this the way you used to do it. Can we, can we, uh, do we work? Should I just get somebody else so I can start it, so I can feel this feeling over again? And it just don't work like that. Mm-hmm. And that's why I was going to ask you. I think now that I'm talking about it, I feel like love isn't a feeling, though. I feel like just how you want to work hard for your career to get mm-hmm. what you really want in and life. you don't stop and you keep going for years and years and years Exactly. Years I think, you get it. I feel like anything, as cliche as it may sound again, my favorite word, Anything that's worth having it's work. is going to, you're going to have to put a lot of work in. And, and that's the same the with time. love. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's not that it's love because you love your person. It's the same for the person. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, if you love some, like, you know, like we love each other. But like I said, feelings are fleeting. I don't think love is fle- fleeting. I think I love you. I'm going to love you for the rest of my life. However, I might not be in love with you. But is love a feeling or is it a choice? I feel like love is a feeling, but I feel like. Being in love, like, and I and I, I do think that's different because, like, like for example, I feel like I remember one time, like, I was a real shit when we was going through our, our really rough patch, and I was, well, bro, fix go your ahead, face, go ahead, bro. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What, what's your problem? Go ahead, we went through a rough patch. We were going through a really rough patch, and I remember saying to my friend, "It's like I love him, but he's just like a cousin, like that. I just can't get rid of, like, don't be." You know what I'm saying, but it was just funny because I feel like sometimes you love people so much, like you're now family. Mm. Like we're a family. Like no, I, like I can't, I would never leave you hanging. I, I never like I, I need you in my life at some capacity. But right now, I'm just not in love with you. And that's why I said you get think, what I'm trying to say. And I'm not saying that for you. No, I'm no. just saying I think that's what happens. Like but, it's more like I'm just not in love with you right now. Right, like right now, you don't really. I don't know. Like, for example, because we've been through a rough patch where we broke up and everything. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So right now you're just not making me feel good. I don't like how you're treating me. I don't like how you're dealing with me. I don't like I don't want to be there with you. I don't want to be intimate with you. I don't want to share those spaces with you. But I love you. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I I still need to see you to make sure you're OK. I still need to call you because I need to hear your voice because I need to know but that's... you're good. I need I still need to make sure you're all right. Like if you need something, I got to give it to you. Like it's still like I still love you, though. You get what I'm trying to say? It's just that that's why I said feelings are fleeting because sometimes it's not even in love. It's more so the feelings that come with in love, like uh, intimacy and, um, you know, butterflies and and just like that feeling of just airiness where it's like sometimes I think that's fleeting. But that's why I think. Me personally, that's why I think love is a choice, though, because you are choosing to do these things. You are choosing to be there. And the feeling of being in love is just a feeling. 
because mm. loving someone and being in love with somebody, I feel like it's two different oh, things. Mm. And sometimes almost to the point where I feel like we make up what's in love mm. because in love is just that fleeting feeling. Because if we're together, it's, it might be times where you don't like me. It might be times where I don't like you. But at the end of the day, we still got each other back. That's love. Mm -hmm. okay. And you can attribute that to being in love or not. But yeah. I'd rather know you got my back than you on and off about being in love with me or not. That's true. But I think that I think that's the perspective. Because some people would rather the latter. You know what I'm saying? Some people want like... I like. But I, that's I, not I good. Even, that's chasing the feeling. No, I, that's, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I don't think people are wrong for feeling that way either. Because some people want to be in love. Like, if we're going to be together in life partners, I want to be in love with you. But that's not life, though. I, I'm not saying you're wrong. But I'm not telling them they're wrong for feeling that way either. I'm telling them they're wrong. That's okay. Because that's not, that, that's okay. And that's not life. And to go and, and, to, to, and to be with somebody, making them feel like that constantly is not fair. Because that's not like that's not you're not going to feel like that about your mother you're not going to feel about your father you're not going to feel about your kid you're not going to feel about work you ain't going to feel about that about that in any aspect of your life but you want to feel about that about me so when we don't feel that way you want to walk away that like well, that's that's a that's a fair point i think that's a very fair point you know but you know i so for example i don't know like there are couples who feel like i don't know and they could be lying but that they're just honeymoon bliss like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want to take that away you from those couples. I don't want to take that away from those couples who do feel like that. Like, they're in love, 365. And because maybe they're hopeless romantics and maybe that's what they chase. And there are people who feel that way that connect to each other. Yeah, you know what but I'm that's to say? for a second. You know what it reminds yeah. me of? The saying, um, the moment I stop having fun, what I'll be done with it. Man, you got to be crazy. Because it'd be times where I'll be in here and I'll be struggling and I hate it. And mm -hmm. I don't like, but I know my, my mind, my, my eyes is on a prize ahead of time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not about what's going on today because I can know right now I might not like this moment but I'm going to love what it's going to get me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to love with the, the work that I'm putting in now. I'm going to love the outcome that I'm, mm -hmm. I'm getting from it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's like like I don't I don't like that because it's like bro yeah I just want to live this fairy tale life. It's hopeless romantic. It's like you're hopeless. It's like no bro like you're not going to feel like that every day of your life. I, I don't think you're wrong babe. I just don't want to. I just don't want to fully say like I don't agree with it, only because there are people like you know how they say sometimes get with the get with your kind mm -hmm. because I feel like there's people who think the latter and mm -hmm. get with people who feel that same exact way. Cool. And they, you know what I mean. So and that's how they choose to live. You know. So let's talk about it then. Yeah. There are ways to help in the progression of feeling like that. Okay. Which sometimes people let get away from, like constantly dating your partner. For sure. Right? Constantly courting your partner, constantly complimenting sure. your partner, constantly making those moments feel yeah. like it's new. So there's this thing that I, I've been, it's like a trend that I've been seeing um, where basically it's the things that couples forget to do daily that are small things that end up over time becoming habit. Mm. to lead to greater results of disconnect and it's like when you come through the door you forget to hug them mm. when you walk through the door when you forget to say thank you when they got your towel made you a meal when you leave out the door you don't kiss them goodbye and gradually over like little things like this gradually over time it becomes habit so it stops completely mm. so then once it stops completely your partner no longer feels love or feels affection, whatever, and you don't notice it. And over time, you don't realize that the connection has now lost. Mm -hmm. So I think some of this stuff is little things. That creates a bigger that issue. That creates a bigger issue. It's not always just courting or dates. Sometimes it's the little things that matter. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, you in the kitchen <clears throat> and your, your partner coming in. You washing one drying, and it's just a bonding moment. But y'all just washing dishes. Y'all not on a date, but it's just little things. Or if you in there reading the the kid a bedtime story, your your, your partner comes in and sit on the bed with y'all. It creates bonding. You don't have to be anywhere. You don't have to be doing anything spe specific. It's just that extra sense of uh, partnership. Mm. Um, and affirmation, of course, is like making you feel wanted, making you feel good. Yeah, confirming. or just showing that you're there. Yeah. Like I'm present. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think. Presence sometimes gets, you know, not as much like it gets overlooked. Yeah, it gets overlooked and it doesn't get a light shine on. Sometimes it's just presence. Mm. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I'm in here doing this, but you're over there doing this, not paying no mind. But right. if you would just, if I'm in here doing this, just come stand in here to let me know I'm present. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? So I think it's a lack of presence sometimes that makes people feel like, you know, that person is absent. And over time it becomes, you know, a I just, bigger ripple. I don't even know I'm, so, I'm going so hard on this because I want to like just get into the crux of the matter, right? And that's really just understanding that things are going to happen. Agreed. Right? So mm-hmm. we're walking around like I'm always going to be in love. It's like in my mind I'm thinking is I'm I'm hearing that you don't think that things aren't going to happen. Mm-hmm. And I say this is like the crux because this is what this episode is about. Staying together through those times. Yeah. Right? Because everything ain't going to go your way. Right. So the real question is how? Mm. Like like how? Like so for example, we've been in some moments where I don't know, like we just completely just don't we ain't seeing eye to eye. Like we don't agree. What I say, you don't hear it. What you say, I do not hear it. I hear what I heard, you hear what you heard. We standing on it ten toes. It's not you know, so we've been we've had plenty of arguments like that. Like, nah, like you don't get it. You like, nah, you don't get it. And that's it. Like I'm not you know what I'm saying? And sometimes that leads to like, bro, like I don't know what you want me to do. Nobody's backing down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I believe what I believe. You believe what you believe. And what the fuck you want to do? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and we've been through those moments. So I don't want to do a disservice to our listeners because I honestly don't know how, but I'm going to try to answer this question. Okay. Because one thing I told all my friends about the best thing about our relationship, and I'm not lying, I said this a lot of times, is the fact that we always fight for each other. Mm. There was one point of time where I felt like you always fought for me. Mm. Then there was a point of time where I felt like I was fighting, right? Mm. But at the end of the day, we always fought for each other. Can I tell you why? I don't know, because there's been times where we both did things to each other that we should not have stayed. We talked about that before. Like, it got very bad, very toxic, but we stayed together, Mm -hmm. right? And I think... You really got to do some inner work, right? And I'm not trying to be cliche again, but you know when someone, I know how. Oh, I hate this. Follow on your heart. And I said it, I said it to say, as, I got to stop saying this word. I need to read the dictionary. I'm screaming. <laughs> as cliche as this may sound, Right. That's something that we don't, a lot of people don't do. Right. And let's paint a picture. A lot of times you might hear couples going through that thing, right? Or even like somebody that's talking to somebody and they're like, man, I'm I'm about to just leave them alone. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? But they really want to. Or they might call you like, yo, you think I should uh call shorty? Or because like, you think I'm tripping? Like, I'm doing too much? Uh, you got to do what's best for you, right? Right. But nah, I feel like if you really want to do it, don't fight that feeling. Yeah. That's how you stay together. Because a lot of times we be fighting to feel what we really want to do. I ain't going to do that. We let our pride get the best of us. Right. I ain't calling her, man. She know better. You right. really want to call her, but I ain't no pussy, man. What she think, right. man? She, man? She was dead wrong. No. Fuck her. Like, nah. Like, I ain't going out like that. Mm. I'm about to go out. I'm about to smash. I'm about to do my thing. Right. But that's what be holding us back. Yeah. Because a lot of times right. we, we yell pride. But when you grown, you understand that this is what I want to do. And a lot of times you just got to grow up. And growing up means that just accepting your feelings, accepting what you want to do and being okay with that, mm-hmm. even when it looks like the worst thing to do. Sometimes, like, bro, we've been through some things and my pride and my ego said, bro, you better not. Mm-hmm. But my heart said, mm-hmm. you better. And I follow my heart. And that's why we still here. And I feel like a lot of times people be, 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 be following that pride and that ego instead of following that heart. You know what I'm saying? I think that's how you really stay. You fight through it. Cause your heart tell you all the time, like even and it's it's sad. Like I'm not trying to go to our charter territories, but like when women are dealing with really bad men, and they finally walk away, they finally walk away because that heart is saying go, and you can't. Like I feel like when your heart is saying something, you are gonna have to go with it. I, th- I mean, a lot of times you are rationalizing with your thoughts. Mm-hmm. And your thoughts do this little dance sometimes where it's like, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not so bad. Maybe it's not that. And you end up finding your brain. But when your heart finally, I, yeah, I, I, you I know, agree. Like, you know when it's your heart. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 
I don't know. I mean, that might be a touchy conversation because yeah. I know some people say don't follow your heart, follow. I don't know, but like, yeah. I just feel like your heart is never gonna lie to you. You know what I'm no, saying? That's a good one. Because yo, it get hard out here, man. Like, mm-hmm. like niggas be going through some real stuff out here, and I just want people to know that, like, bro. Also having a community, a tribe. Because what happens is like a lot of times, and I think that's a big part of staying together as well. As a man, I'm talking about from a man's point of perspective. It's times you get on my damn nerves. It's times where, and I'm talking to my fellas. Talking to my fellas. So I'm going to say a little, just talking to my guys. It's times, sometimes when my girl get on my nerves, she's super emotional, she's complaining, right? And it's been times where I thought it was just me, right? But the moment I talk to somebody that's married, somebody that's in a long-term relationship, guess what? It's them too. Yeah. And granted, like, it, I think it's the human thing to, to just want to feel like I'm not alone. Mm-hmm. But you're not. Right. So when you talk to these other guys and you surround yourself around like-minded individuals, they like, well, my girl, my wife do the same thing. Right. So now you don't feel as bad. Right. So now you, because uh, unconsciously what we're doing is, man, I need somebody who ain't going to complain, man. Right. I need right. somebody who right. ain't going, they all do it. Hey. Whatever. No, but no. But, same. Right. Like, just... whatever you probably don't like in me. I'm pretty sure a lot of men do it. You probably have some that don't, but whatever you don't like in me, pro- like. Or the fact that everybody's gonna have something you don't like. There you go. You said it way better than I did. <laughs> but I'm just trying to be real, like with mm-hmm. the guys. Like, you about to say something? Oh, I just feel like stop taking it personal. Get you a, a good circle, right? And then you understand that a lot of your problems ain't just your problems. It's, right. it's us. And then stop comparing your situation to other people. Right. It's like you looking at somebody else's grass. And I think Skittle said it's like you looking at somebody else's grass. They could have used fertilizer. They got fake grass. You never know what that right. is. You don't know what kind of you grass You don't know what is. type of grass that is. Take care of your own okay. grass. Yeah. Right? So when things is going when things is going rough in your... I know I sound patient, but mm-hmm. I am. When things is going rough in your relationship, bro, you got to really sit back, understand what you want. And when you know what you want, then you can move. Make a move. You get what I'm saying? For sure. Oh, no, man. Man, that was good. I mean, I agree. I think the only thing I would add to it is also, like, self-awareness. Like, I mm. think that um, a lot of times, like, it's one. hard to stay because people lack self-awareness. So That's when good. somebody's telling you something about you, you cannot see it because you're too busy focused on them and what they got wrong with them. But you don't think that there's anything wrong with you. So I think self-awareness sometimes is... It, it people lack it so much that they get in their own way. Mm. So you could have had something good, but because you refuse to see yourself, you're going to let it walk away. You're going to let it slip, slip through your fingers because you think that you're not the problem. That person's the only thing, the only part of the problem. And I think if you have a little self-awareness, just, and you can, then you can listen through a different filter. Um, you're not listening just to hear that. Like, for example, you may call it complaining or you may call it such and such, but you can, you're hearing from another filter. Like, what are you really trying to say? Mm. Okay. You're saying that I'm not helping you with this, but what you're really saying is if I'm not helping with this, this means I'm not paying attention to what's going on in the house. Facts. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like little stuff like that. Like, and I think self, like lack of self-awareness ruins not some of the best friendships, best relationships, because if you cannot see, if you don't see nothing wrong with you, then you have nothing to change. And it's gonna be that's gonna be your demise. And that's your that's simply your demise. You know what I mean? And it's two to tango. So one person, I mean, yeah, there's times where one person may be part of the, you know, maybe a a bigger part of the problem, but it doesn't mean that you don't have any. But you know, but I think that's um a part of the reason why we were, and you can correct me if I'm mm-hmm. wrong. I feel like that's a part of the reason why we were fighting for it because. As much as we could say he wasn't accountable, you, 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 yeah. we were at the end of the day aware that, and it, <laughs> this is gonna sound bad, but mm-hmm. we just telling our truth. It was so bad that it was like, damn man, like shit, like I guess I did. I did like, too if, much. I, if I if I ain't do that, then maybe but she wouldn't have did because, that. Because no matter which way we planted it, if, even if some the, that person was at fault. We were both reacting to each other. Yeah, and we was like, aware I call enough. That self, at we least... were we were mirrors, yeah. right? Like literally marrying each other. So even if I, st- even if you want to say I started it, you now reacted. So mm-hmm. now we both done did something wrong. You but know at what I'm the trying core, to say? we were react. We but were aware enough to be like, I should. I did too much. <laughs> yeah, so I did like, too much. I shouldn't have did that. So now I can't really put all the blame yeah, on yeah, you. Yeah, so because I like, did that. I did that too. Yeah, so I guess that's another part that, of staying like, together. Yeah, being that's aware. Like, it's so, it's self awareness. I think it's a huge part. To play, and if you lack it, you you'll miss a lot of honestly growing opportunities. Mm. You miss a lot of growing opportunities, and this is man versus 
and women. It's yeah. not one. It's not just the man seeing, having lacking self awareness. A lot of women lack a lot of self awareness. Like, you know what I'm saying? They put it on men a lot, but it, it, a lot of women really like it too. Nah, this is crazy. We going we going because even with that awareness, right? If you are able to be aware a little bit, it is so much. It's growth opportunity. There. So much growing opportunity. And but then we're really tr- what happened is like. We're really trying to communicate with each, with each mm-hmm. other what we don't like or what we what we like, mm-hmm. but because we wasn't taught this coming up, we don't know how to. Mm-hmm. So it comes off arguing, it comes off mm-hmm. bickering, it comes off complaint, it comes off with so no many no conflict things. resolution, right? But guess what? Through it, we start to understand, paint a picture again. You taught me this. I had to learn this though. And at one point in time, I thought that I was only bringing up things I did for you because I felt like I, I had to justify. My worth, because I wanted to feel appreciated, right? Mm-hmm. Whole time, that's not how you get appreciation. One, mm-hmm. two, that's not the that's just not good to do. You mm-hmm. don't bring up what you do for anybody, no matter what, regardless, mm-hmm. right? I had to learn it. Once I started learning that, right, I was able to deal with the situation at hand. Mm-hmm. So when you come in, like, I don't know the dishes or something. I don't know it's dirty in here. Mm-hmm. Whatever the complaint, mm-hmm. quote unquote, for people that's listening, whatever the complaint may be. I'm able to understand this ain't about, first of all, what you done did in the past. That's mm-hmm. in the past. It's about right now. Right. In the moment I was able to acknowledge right now, I can, I don't want to say fix, but I can deal with that situation. Right. So now I don't, now when I bring up something else, it's not a, a roller coaster effect. Right. So yeah, I can say I only brought this up because you did this, mm-hmm. but me bringing it up still took us down a path exactly. of self-destruction. Mm-hmm. Right. So now that I, now that I understand, all right, you don't do that. So what else can I do? I only can look at what you what you bring into uh-huh. the table. All right, bet. Bay, let's let's try to clean up. Or yeah. can I help you clean up? And you it, get it, so it solves much. it solves the problem now because like now you don't go a trip down that. Now we down a whole nother rabbit hole because now cause you brought that up. Facts. And I'm like, who what you need to bring that up for? Facts. Now we in another argument. It's just let's just get it done. Facts. Because if the, if you really hear it and you realize, well, at the end of the core issue is it ain't about that. It's just not that. Mm, that's a fact. You know that's crazy. Yeah. And then, but it, that works both ways, though. It's not just on one side of the way. That's your example. But there's tons of examples to be pulled from the the opposite side. You know. So I, I think I think self awareness is a it, is would be my key tip to staying together. You have to work you have to look at you mm. like you cannot just look at the other person you have Facts. to look at you we are not perfect and as much as i lo- would love to tell you how perfect i am because honestly i am you know i, I got shit everybody got their shit with them like you get what i'm trying to say like every everybody it doesn't matter how good of a girl like how everybody has something with them Bro, like you're right and and whether it's attitude or something you feel like well yeah, but mine is not as bad as his. It does not matter because you don't know what way it triggers somebody, even if you feel like it's a lesser. Mm. Like, it's just so many ways that it can be spun. And, you know, everything you could point about somebody else, just look at you and just point, like, what can I focus on on myself? And I promise you, whenever you fix one thing about yourself, it, it, it's, it's, it's a trigger down effect. It's a, it's just a domino like the bad, effect. It's the yep. positive too. It, it's exactly it's the crazy same way it works. Even, even in like church, right? You go to church, you get this fire word. They talk about, talk about relationships. And they talk about how people need to be accountable. They talk about all this. First thing you go, happen in your mind is, I wish my wife was here to hear this. Right. First I wish of all, it, this is why. You know, right. you did that to me before. You really blew me. We was me. having great No, we know. I had to tell you because it really made me bad. And it just made me think about it. It's so old. One day you went, you listen to church and you're going to say, yeah, it was a good word. Yeah, I felt like you should have listened to that. <laughs> I was like, I probably did that. I'm sorry. You did. I, I was probably, like, I'm, I'm probably guilty. And I remember sure. I was like, "Wow, you ain't take nothing for you, huh? You just came home and so." So I was like, "Oh, what was it about?" Yeah, I was, in, I was, in, I was in the sin for sure. I ain't gonna, but, but that's not, that's not good. And and but that's, that's, that's and I feel like we give a love that help. Right? Yeah, facts. Because I think I, I heard somebody talk to me about that. And the moment you feel that way is the moment you should. When you feel that, that's when you know you're wrong. Mm-hmm. And that's how I uh that's how I look at it now. Like as mm-hmm. soon as I feel that feeling, I'm like, yeah, my mama need mom. to hear this. Mm-hmm. I gotta. Yeah, yeah. Nah, bro. What you find you your need, lesson? Find, find your, your lesson. That's yeah. how you stay together. Find your lesson. Boom. I like that. That's hard. Find your lesson. That's hard. Yeah. This is fire, babe. Yeah. Episode eighty four. 
82. 82. I said 84. God. You were trying damn. to get it. I thought you were trying. I thought that was a trick question. I'm going crazy. Yes, man. sir. Yo, it's, you know what to do. Yeah. Make sure you uh subscribe. Subscribe. Get, Ring the get bell. The, get the audio. Ring the bell. Yeah. yeah you know, man. Five Jump. star review. Five star review. This is, fi- this is fire. That was a great conversation. I like that. Yeah. yeah. You think people want to listen? For sure. Fuck no. Find your lesson. Find your lesson. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's hard. How to follow you, bae? She dash at a s h e dot s a d e per Mr. Underscore J Hill, uh, Mr. J Hill Network on YouTube. Make sure you uh subscribe to the channel too. Uh, you can watch all of the videos. We're gonna be dropping every Monday. What are we doing, bae? I thought Monday. We gonna do audio and video, or we gonna do what? How are we gonna do this? Audio, Monday, video, Wednesday. That's what we used to do. We used to do that. You know, I'm dropping the interviews on Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday. Tuesday, Thursday. We will figure it out. Like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. all that. Mr. Underscore J Hill, Gemini Scorpio Podcast, Shida Shade. We always rap.